good afternoon from a very bright and sunny Crayola experience. We're here because the last time we came it was super fun and right now they're having a Halloween event. What's it called? It's called the Screamin' Green ha Hauntoween. Ooh. And I think, I'm not sure if this is considered a weekend day, it's Friday. So they, they sometimes have character meet and greets. They have a slime class. Ooh. We can make our own slime. That's exciting. And some other fun Halloween type stuff. So we're here to do that. Yeah, let's head inside and see what's going on. Yeah. You guys are doing a fantastic job holding that up. And also, what the heck? This guy is graffitiing the entire wall. Look at him. You can't do that, that's not allowed. Oh, as soon as we walk in, they're playing spooky music. And look at this, there are themed Crayola crayons. Crayons. This one looks like a mummy. Spooky. They also have spooky ghosts. And then I wanted to show you guys the cost of an annual pass is only $30 here. Holy cow. And look, general admission is $25. So it kind of doesn't make any sense to not get an annual pass at this point. And you get 20% off shopping and dining. It's a really good deal. Oh no, these crayons are asleep. I'm gonna come over here and wake him up. Let's see. Oh, he's awake. Oh no. He seems like he's not having a good time. Oh, because I have the camera in my hand. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, my guy's like, he, he went out of frame. My guy's having a hard time because of me holding the camera. What's yours doing? Do a little dance. Yeah. See, look, he's like, what are you doing over there, Jen? I, I acted like, what are you, are you like, like making it rain? Oh no, look. We're gonna meet. We're meeting. Oh, we're oh no, <laughs> my guy can't get any closer to yours. Ah! <laughs> this one is doing the best. Doing great, sweetie. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, oh no, oh no. Stop that. I feel so bad for him. This is what we're gonna do while we're here. We get to do a live slime themed show, monsterific crafts, and pumpkin painting. Ooh, this pumpkin painting looks awesome. Exclusive souvenir items, dance party and trick or treating. That's on the weekends only. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to do any dancing or trick or treating. So we got in on the first floor, we bought our tickets and everything, and everything is actually up on the second floor. Over here is just the gift shop. So we're gonna go up these stairs and go to the actual Crayola experience. And they have some fun little photo ops here. Look at this werewolf's great hair. Wow. Will you, will you show me with some great hair like that werewolf? <laughs> yeah. Look at that pumpkin. He's spooky. I like the little feet. Oh yeah, these? They're little witch feet. Which witch feet? The ones that are sticking up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm a werewolf with great hair. You've got mediocre hair. Oh, no. I love all of the different crayon monsters. How do you say it? What's the correct way to say? Oh yeah, how do you guys say crayon? Crayola crayons. Right? <laughs> Crowns? Fun fact. Back in the day when they first discovered mummies in the Western world, there were so many of them that they started grinding them up and turning them into a paint and the color of the paint was mummy brown. So it's interesting to see this brown crayon dressed up like a mummy. I like that they decorated everything in here. It's all so spooky for Halloween. Look at this Frankenstein monster over here. It's amazing. Ah, yes. The history of Crayola crowns. I like how the box design has changed. And they like totally went with a new font in 1958, trying to make it more modern. Ooh, yeah, look at, I like how they change fonts. There it is, 1999. We got a brand new font, more fun. But oh, no, look, here's a newer one. That's the same though, it's the same font. I love the puns and the names of Crayola crowns. Blutiful, that's good, that's a good color blue. We're gonna do Screamin' Green for Halloween. Insert your token. Okay. All right, you wanna do it in English, so push English. Ooh, Ooh there's there your is. crown. Okay. Okay. And then everybody gets two tokens with their admission. Ooh, what shape do you want on there? What does that mean? Like you could have it be just like click sideways in them. Uh-oh. Oh no. 
Does, do I not know how to? Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay, okay. You oh, have to really push shape. on it. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, okay, a lightning bolt. A baseball? What's halloween -y? Is there a bat? I'm trying to see, yeah. Oh, snowflake. Alien. An alien. It's kind of halloween -y, right? I think I'm going to do the alien. Okay. Well, that's a, a fun little, one. A little crayon? I kind of like that little guy. Yeah. I think, it, should I do that? I might do the alien. Do you want to do the little guy? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm going to do the alien. All right. I also like the rocket ship. That's pretty good. I'm going to do this guy, though. There okay. he is. All right, now what are you going to type in there? I'm going to make it my name. Is that okay? Yeah, that's allowed. Okay. All right. Then you hit continue. Do, do you, you like it? I do like it. Yes. Hit print. Ooh. So now it's going to suck my crayon up? No. You have to put the label on yourself. Oh, it doesn't do it? There you go. <laughs> now you take that. Right. And you take your crayon. Look how cool. Oh, no. Never going to happen. Oh, no. There it goes. It looks pretty awesome. And then we go over here to one of these machines. And then you have to follow these instructions. So place your crown in the red slot. Oh, okay. Where is the red slot? Okay, it's not red anymore, just in the in the slot. Okay. And okay. then do I unstick my sticker? Yeah. Sticky side up. Okay. It should suck it down there. Good? Is yeah. it stuck there? Yeah. Now you pull on that handle. Really pull on it. Really hard. All right, there you go. Oh you gosh. did it. It's magic. I love wow. it. Oh, nice work. Thanks. What are you going to name yours? Oh, that's a good question. Because you already have a Tim Trucker crayon. I know. I'm going to, which one was I doing? Oh, I'm going to do a little crayon guy. And he's gonna be. I love that little guy. And he's gonna be. Steve. <laughs> Spooky boy Steve in Screaming Green. Continue. Do I like it? Who wouldn't? Heck yeah, I love it. Great job, it even told me so. <laughs> Ooh, oh no. Spooky boy Steve. There he is. Now we gotta go wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Let's get Spooky boy Steve all wrapped up. Okay, how do you. Oh, it's all lined up. <laughs> It's hard, right? It's really hard. This is so hard. I don't know. I had to do two hands. Okay. I did it. You did it. Well, that was really hard to do. I'm like winded now. There's Spooky Boy Steve. It's perfect. Happy Halloween. Ooh, there's another little spot where you can take your photo and look like a spooky Crayola crayon. I like it. It could be a skeleton. Hey, listen, uh, crowns don't have bones. That's not a thing. So they kind of show in 1903 when it started out, they only had a few colors in this inner circle. And then as you move away, all the way out to 2014, they have so many more colors. I think my favorite one is Alien Armpit Green from Silly Scents. Oh, what does an alien armpit smell like? That's a good question. Oh, today I have a more fun name as Laser Lemon. This thing weighs 1,532 pounds and it's over 15 feet long. Wow. And it is beautiful. <laughs> How did they get this paper? Do they make 15 foot long paper? I'm sure they do. And here's the other question. Is all of it crown? Or did they just kind of like cheat after the paper got on it and they're just like, put some five gallon buckets in there. They have a section over here where you can get some modeling clay and then sit down at the table and they give you suggestions as to what you can make with the modeling clay. Here's the directions on how to mold a spooky cat. Back by the adventure lab, there is another little photo spot. You could be the mummy or a vampire. Also, the last time we came, we didn't go into the Adventure Lab, so I still don't know what this is. But look at these. It's like a, like a pumpkin man. Uh, you know how you make a snowman, but this one's out of pumpkins? What do you call that? Like a stack of pumpkins, I guess? We're going in. Ooh. There are bubbly noises in here. Okay. Let's... Okay. Power the bulb. Let's touch the start. 
Drag your finger through the middle. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Where That's do you start? That's pretty intense. You start here? Yeah. Or do you start here? Where do you no, start? No, you don't start at the bulb. You start back here. Oh. Oh no, wait. I'm confused. Right? You can just like... Oh. It sounds like an alien spaceship. Oh no. Oh, uh, how do I go backwards? Oh no. What if I do like this? I can't see where I'm going. You're doing great. Oh, we did it. Science. No, I mean not really any science, but <laughs> like a little bit of science maybe. We're back here. We're going to melt down these crowns into another shape. Oh, I'm going to be this teal color. Okay. It's good. Ooh, I want to make a puppy. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm making a puppy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's melting my crown down and dripping into that little space there. This is exciting. Now it just has to cool down, I think. I'll show you guys the final product when it's done. There are the two that we just made. Mine's a puppy dog and Jen's is like a laughing crying emoji. All right, I like these, they're fun. I like how there's still like leftover colors from other crowns. Well, we thought we were doing the splatter paint thing. So this was like a, a surprise. Surprise. <laughs> Ooh, now we're gonna make some spin art, like splatter art. These look awesome. So you picked two colors. Which ones did you, you picked orange and yellow. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna pick like that purple. Yeah, and that deep red. Yeah, Ooh. these look like they'll go great together. Are you gonna close the door? This lever is to make this circle spin fast or to spin slow. Oh. You decide the speed. Okay. And then when the light here turns green, you're gonna put your other color right here in the hole again. Oh. What happens if I slow it down? I think you do the second color this slow. To make oh, this, okay. It's to make it spin fast. Or to make it spin slow. Because this really spin. makes it like flick the color the out. Light. Oh yeah, you can kind of see what yours is going to look like now. <laughs> okay, and then once the light turns green, you put the other color in. And my orange one. Oh, I like that. I kind of wanted it to look like a sun. That Ooh. was my artistic uh, thing here. Okay. I'm going to go start mine. And okay. then you show me your final product. It's kind of hard to see mine because the inside of my container is a little bit, a bit rough. But you can kind of see some of the colors. It's gonna be beautiful. So there's Jen's. Looks like the sun. It's beautiful. Thank you. You did a great job. Now we gotta see mine. <laughs> mine has a big old blob of melted crown right in the middle. <laughs> did you yeah. do it really fast or really slow? I did both. Oh, okay. Whoa, you guys has turned out like real professionals. Well, that's what I was trying to figure out how they got it to be so like small in the middle because you see how mine's really big? Yeah. And it just like, like how did you do that? What did you do? Oh, the last time that I came, this meltdown area was where they would, you could do like splatter paint with melted crayons, but now it's like the handheld 3D printers. I'll show you what I mean when we get in there. You create a melted wax painting with these little handheld melter downers. It's kind of interesting. Oh no, there's Jen. Hello. So I've got my bat and here are the little melty things. And they said only use the ones that have the green lights on them and then whatever table they're on is what color they are. So this is blue. They also have green and they have purple over there too. So I'm gonna start out with blue. I'm gonna make my bat blue. Maybe I'll like paint the sky around him. So I started outlining my bat so that it kind of looks like he's in the sky with the blue. And then I don't know, I'm gonna maybe make this, this bat over here a little bit green. Yeah, green bat. I am an artist. And then there'll just be like some green dots around here. Maybe he'll have some green eyes. Perfect. Okay. And now we're going to head over to the other color and see what we can do with purple. How's yours looking? Oh, this one doesn't work. Oh no. So you have to do this one. Oh, let me see your let me see your bat. Well, I, because I started with the broken one. We're gonna grab this. Oh yeah. Oh. Because I started with the broken one, it I kind of messed up. So oh. start with this one. I mean, it's not not much better than mine. Oh no, yours looks good. I'm gonna do blue. I like oh, the yeah. blue. Oh, your bat is so beautiful. <laughs> I, the green one like came out so fast. It was like 
pouring out of the machine. So um, this is what I ended up with. Yay! Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for with purple because we're all out of purple. They had to put more crayon in there. So I think that these machines are a little bit willy-nilly, but oh, yeah. the process is fun. Yeah. I had a good time. Let's see your uh, Crayola magic. Whoa! Yeah, I'm making a bat. It's gonna be purple. That's what mine was doing, where it was just like pouring out. Yeah, I think that's what it's supposed to do. Is it? Yeah, it's like a melted crayon. Oh no, I ruined his, his eyeballs. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. Are you gonna sign your name? Was I supposed to? I thought you were starting to. That's what I was. I was confused as to what you were doing. Oh no, I'm making him. I'm making him very like doing some outlining here. It's almost like a tattoo gun, but like him, like a children's version of a tattoo gun. Yeah, I love it. You would love it. Wow. Wow. He looks kind of awesome. <laughs> so we signed up for the slime class. So we're gonna learn how to make slime. And they gave us these wristbands. I like how spooky they are. And it was $17 for four tickets, which I feel like that's not so bad. That's a pretty good deal. It's almost time for our slime classes. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. So we picked out our color of glue. I got blue and Jen got green for the Halloween event because it's screaming green Halloween. Oh, like the whole thing. Take oh, the, whole, okay. the whole top off. We're ne I've never made slime before. Oh, look at how beautiful <laughs> my glue is. Wow, I'm gonna have the most beautiful slime ever. It's like glittery poop. The green looks cool. It looks spooky is what it looks like. <laughs> now they're adding in contact solution. This is so interesting. I had no idea this is how you do it. I know. I wonder what it is about the contact solution that makes it turn to slime. I don't know. Well, so that's the polymers and then activating and that makes it to be sticky. Oh. So we talk about it where it's kind of like the same kind of like the beach. Where when they're dry, they don't really build up, but when you add the water, it helps to stick it together. Gotcha. And so the contact solution is working the same way. Oh, okay. A emulsifier, right? Yeah, is that what it is? I think so. She said it was a polymer. Polymer? Yeah. I don't know what, I, I just made up science right <laughs> Then in goes the baking soda. All right, and then you guys can start stirring whenever you're ready. And then we have to stir it up. <laughs> it's turning slimy. Yes. Did you put your finger in? No, I've been doing this though. Oh, okay. Does that count? Well, look at what you're doing there. Wow. You've made some Smells slime. so bad. Yeah, it does. Look at mine. <laughs> I made a slime too. More like the slime bros. So the making of the slime is a good time. That was very enjoyable. Yeah. But it smells really bad. <laughs> it does. I'm sure you guys know this from making slime on your own. It's kind of making me gag a little bit. Cool. Yeah. Scream and green. I put mine in the bag. So here's what we do. We pick something to draw. You could draw this this dragon or like a hummingbird or a knight. And then once you're done, you take it over here and you put it down there and the computer scans it and then makes it into 3D with the colors that you colored it. Like my favorite sitcom ever, Yeti in New York. Sure? I finished my knight in somewhat shining armor. Jen's still working on her dragon. Oh, yeah. She's definitely getting a lot more color in on the dragon than I went with for my knight. I just kind of did a quick scribbly drawing. I, think I thought you had to color it in all the way. So no. maybe I'm gonna, I might just like kind of stop doing that now then. Hey, you should just stop right now. No, no, no. Well, really not really the butt. Yeah, it's good. Oh. And then we come over here, push start, then we place the coloring page there. All right, now remove it. Oh, okay, it worked. Here it goes. There's my horse. Where's my night guy, though? Do I do it here? Oh, oh, he's like moving around. Okay. He's beautiful. Let's put him in the woods. Oh. So where's the night, though? If I want to make him a lot smaller, though, and then put him kind of over here. There he is. Beautiful. Now I have to capture it. Oh, he's perfect. Jen made a dragon. Do that again. I didn't do that with mine, yeah. Oh, he did like a barrel roll. <laughs> do a barrel roll. What else does he do? What's the other slider? What did you do? Oh. Hold on, just leave it there for a second. Oh. Whoa. All right. Wow. I don't know if they got the colors exactly right. Yeah, they're a little, a little bit off. They tried. They did try. 
You're doing great, sweetie. And then, oh, I can make him do like a... He's doing a 360. Whoa, 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 <laughs> calm down there. That was just oh, his no. butt. Sorry. And then you can take a photo of it. Oh, I can make a little. Oh, yeah. Now I'm gonna make then you can then you can take a selfie. <laughs> can I? Yeah. Where? Right there where it says selfie. No, the where it said selfie. Right there, see? No, hit try again. Oh, but I like it. Oh, okay. And then you can email it to yourself. No thanks. Great job, you've completed the Crayola experience. Oh, I did. The I did entire everything. thing. <laughs> One of the things that they give you on the way in is this voucher for a scribble scrubby. And if you're wondering what a scribble scrubby is, it's this. You can draw on it with washable markers and then wash it. It's kind of interesting. They also have multiple playgrounds here in the Crayola Experience. This one's called Toddler Town. Sure, you can email yourself a video, but what if you wanted to email my heart? Ooh, oh my goodness, that's me. What is that? What part of me is that? I think it's my pants. It is, there's my knee. All right. Where? Where do I go? I'm so lost in into where. Okay, I think it's over here. Right? Is that still my knee? Look at me. I'm a kaleidoscope. Oh, oh, there were little footprints on the ground that I was supposed to stand on, but I didn't see them before. So I was looking like a fool laying on the ground. Okay, this is confusing. I think you. Get your own coloring page with you on it? Let's see what happens. Okay. Jen, will you do it? Will you will you hit photo for me? Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, let's print it. Should we be one? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. We can color me. We're gonna give you some eyebrows. Oh no. <laughs> Tim Tracker? <laughs> all right, I think we've spent all of our time upstairs. Oh look, they're bringing a character out right now. It's happening. She's dressed like a little witch. How adorable is that? This is awesome. So in case you guys weren't up on your like Crayola crown character names, that's Orchid the Good Witch. Who knew? So we're all done here in the Crayola Experience doing what we wanted to do with like the experience itself. And we now- got, We got so many goodies. Yeah, we did. We really did. The only thing we paid extra for was the slime. slime. Yeah, yeah, everything else is included with our admission. Yeah, we got two crowns. We didn't show you the second one, but yeah. we got two of them. Mine's named Harold and Mine's it's purple. Mine's named Jen. <laughs> and so now we're gonna go downstairs into the gift shop, see what they got down there. Get your crayon. Everybody get your crayon. Come on, everybody get your crayon. It's a cray, 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 cray time. Strawberry. What is it? Wild strawberry. Oh. Yeah. She does look pretty wild. Perfect. Crayola onesies are only $7.50. They're on clearance. They have a wall full of markers and crayons and you just like, it's like going to Menchie's for frozen yogurt. <laughs> you just like fill it with whatever you want and then I guess they weigh it at the end. I'm gonna get like 20 of just this one color. Yeah. Of, uh... Just tropical violet. Yep, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Uh, ultraviolet, you can't see. What is that? Come on. Ooh, we can buy our own washable glue. For two bucks. Two dollars. So we are or, paying for the experience. Yeah, look. You could get this one down here. It says it's great for slime. They have like a whole display here with the model magic stuff and things that have been made using model magic. They made a whole Frankenstein monster and Frankenstein's bride. And like a cauldron and these these things like some sort of form of monstery thing. This is pretty interesting. Wow. So there you have it. That was our trip out to the Crayola experience to see all their Halloween stuff. For Screaming Green Hauntoween. Super fun. Yeah, I had it a was, great time. It was cute. I can see how kids would really, really like this place. Yeah, and with an annual pass at only $29. Yeah, that's not a bad deal at all. It's a fantastic deal. I think my favorite part was making the um, the spinning art and my, my special crayon. The other thing that I saw is that for a four, like a family of four, you get an annual pass for $109. Oh wow. For all four of you. So if you have kids that like really love crayons and so markers. What to do. Yeah. Yeah. So fantastic time at the Crayola experience. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Kim and this is Liana and now it's time to pay the price.